Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read. Today we're going to be doing the comic love book tag. So I was tagged to do this by Lazy Owl and I will link their channel down in the description below as well as their video where they did this tag. Basically this tag is all about comic book love and I'm a huge comic book nerd. So I was super down to do this tag and I even suited up and wore my amazing Spider-Man t-shirt for this video. Um, it's one of many comic book shirts that I have. I've also been really wanting to talk more about comic books on this channel. So this tag just like happened to come up at the perfect time because I, I just am really in the mood for graphic novels as well right now. So yeah, I'm pumped for this. So the first question is, which comic book series made you really fall in love with comic books or graphic novels? Um, it wasn't necessarily one series specifically. I actually have my cousin Mark to thank for getting me into comic books because he's the one that kind of like introduced me to them when I was very young. And ever since he like just started giving me free comic books to read, I just, I loved it because I loved art as a kid as well. And it was art and reading put together. So it was like my two favorite things. And so I really picked up on comic books and have been collecting them ever since I was little. And he's been bestowing his free copies of comic books upon me. So I've been taking those. And that kind of like started my love for comic books and grew my collection. Um, but if I had to think of one that like I started off reading when I was really young, that would have to be Calvin and Hobbes. And I have some additions here. So I have they're all kind of bent, but this is my original Calvin and Hobbes book that I first started reading. And then I picked up some other ones from my babysitter, I think is who got these for me. And so this was kind of like my initial love for comic books. Like I would read these after school um, before doing any homework or anything like that. And yeah, I flew through these. I loved Calvin and Hobbes and I just thought they were such like clever comic books. And the kid always got up to so much mischief with his pet tiger. It was just, it was, it was a good time. And I would definitely reread these again. Then the next question is most underappreciated or underhyped comic book. I wouldn't necessarily say a comic book series specifically, but I'm going to peg this one as like a character. And so I chose Aquaman because I think he is very underrated and he's been very underrated for years. And I like, I wouldn't say it's an obsession with him, but I do just really like him as a character. And so I kind of went and bought like a whole bunch of uh, issues from his different series. So this one's his, and this one's his DC Universe Rebirth. So I have the next three editions for that one. <laughs> and then this is his new 52 series, which I have the next three editions for this one as well. So kind of went nuts with buying Aquaman comic books, but I really enjoy reading his comics. And so, yeah, I think he's very underappreciated. I think people don't think his powers are very strong, but he's, he's pretty badass. So yeah, that's who I would choose. Plus it also helps that you can like buy lots of comic books when you know where to get the deals. Like if you go to certain stores, they will have graphic novels for like $5 to $10 and regular graphic novel prices in like an actual chain store is like 18 to 24 dollars a piece so usually i only get my graphic novels when i can get them for cheaper prices and then i just get a whole bunch and it's fantastic then we have most loved lgbtq plus diverse comic and so i chose two for this one because i had two that i knew of uh, one is alpha flight and this is actually a canadian superhero team so i thought that was also cool because i'm like representing my country at the same time but uh one of the characters north star is gay and i thought that was just like really interesting that it's a it was actually the first gay character that i encountered in a comic book and i thought it was really cool that it was also a canadian team um Wolverine is also known to sometimes join this team for different battles and he like shows up in different issues of this series so that was cool and then the other one is the runaways so I just have them in these like little like novel format size which I bought these on a comic book website when I was like 12 no not 12 when I was like 14 I bought these on this like comic book website and that was also like my first experience online shopping so 
I felt like really cool at the time. Yeah, I think it's Carolina in this series. She definitely um, has lots of occurrences in this series where she's kind of trying to figure out her sexuality. And I think it's a really cool story arc for her. I think that was really awesome. Um, I only have issues two, three, and four. I don't know where the first issue is. I must have misplaced it somewhere. I know I have it because I read it. I just don't know where it is, but these are two, three, and four in tiny format. I don't even know if you can get them in this like size anymore. This was also a really good series. Like I remember reading this and the ending of this series blew me away. Like I, I was not expecting that. I mean, I was also 14, so that, <laughs> that may have played a factor into it. It's just like, I was young and naive, but yeah, I still remember it being a good series, so you should check it out. Then we have the most loved comic book hero sidekick. So for this one, I chose, this is a fun one for me, but I chose, I think it, I'm pretty sure it's called Lion Cat from Sega. <laughs> so I opened it up, he's actually right here and he's saying lying and he's looking real creepy. So I just, I love, Lion Cat. He's just hilarious and he calls everybody out on their shit like nobody can get away with anything around him because if you do try and lie he'll just blatantly tell you that you're lying or tell everybody around you that you're lying and you can't get away with it so I just think he's like a fun character to have in there and also he's like a big badass cat so like who wouldn't want that as a sidekick? I think that's awesome. And if you haven't read Sega definitely read Sega. This series is just amazing it's like it's so crude and vulgar but i love it <laughs> and it's just randomly thrown in there throughout the book like you whenever turning pages through this book you don't want to be like reading this in public because some of the art in this book is pretty graphic and if you open that up in like a coffee shop and somebody looks over your shoulder you're gonna be really embarrassed <laughs> but it's still such a fun time like i think you should read sega and we have our most loved comic book publisher and I, I don't know if I'm gonna get like flack for this, but I personally like DC more than I like Marvel. And I think it's just because in my opinion, I think DC gets a little bit darker with their storylines and I like dark storylines. Like if it's too light and fluffy or anything like that, like sometimes they're okay depending on what it's about. But if it's like a superhero thing, like I want hardcore intense battles, which Marvel does provide, but I find that DC also has like the dark like murder and deception in the background on top of these battles. And what I'm referring to is mostly like Batman comics. I'm kind of a weirdo and I have all of the best Batman graphic novels from the year of 2013. I don't know why I picked up like a, a little like resource guide that year and I was like, I'm going to buy all of these. And so I literally bought every single one of them on that list and read all of those books. <laughs> and they were fantastic. I really enjoyed almost every single one of them. So I really like Batman. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why I just decided to do year 2013. That was just me being a weird collector, but I did it. So yeah, maybe I'll do another video sometime just on those comic books and show you guys my entire Batman collection. So then we have the best screen to print or print to screen adaptation. And for this one, I chose, <laughs> I don't I feel like everybody's gonna like hate all my answers for this, but I chose um, Amazing Spider-Man 2, <laughs> which is the one with Andrew Garfield in it. I think that he did a really good job as Spider-Man and I really enjoyed the way he portrayed Peter Parker because that's how I see Peter Parker when I'm like reading most of his comic books, he's like, that fun attitude and he's also like throwing out all these like quips when he's fighting with his enemies which yes Tom Holland does um and I think Tom Holland also does a good job but I just thought that Andrew Garfield also had like the build like he looked just like Peter Parker with glasses if you put glasses on him um I also chose this adaptation because I had been waiting to see this moment on film for so long when um, I read the comics with Gwen Stacy and knew how they ended and what happens to Gwen Stacy and to see it portrayed on screen was just awesome. Like I remember getting chills watching that scene as it was going down in slow motion. I was just like freaking out because I knew it was coming the whole time and I was just 
waiting in anticipation to see how they did it. And like, I think they did a really good job. It wasn't perfect, but I think it was really well done um, in like the way they could do it. And I also really enjoyed Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy. I think she did a really good job as that as well. However, I wasn't too keen on the actor they had for the Green Goblin in this one. It's a little weird choice, but you know what? Whatever. Next up is Most Loved, newly published graphic novel or comic book. And this one, it's not exactly newly published, but it's new-ish. I Like, it's been in the last, I think, I think two to three years. I'm not 100% on that. But it is Fight Club 2. Uh, I really enjoyed this graphic novel. It kind of, like, follows after the events of Fight Club and what happens. And it also um, deals with the main character's child and how his child is kind of getting the mental illness that he had in Fight Club. And so he's like trying to help his kid understand what's happening to him and help him understand this illness that he has and try and work through it together with him. Also, as you can see on the front, like this watercolor art style, it's like that throughout a lot of the book. And I thought this art style was so cool. I really liked it. So it just like, it added that extra layer to the comic book. Cause that's something that's very important to me is like the art style needs to be good for me to be drawn into the story. And I think the art style definitely has an impact on pulling you into the story. So when it has that, it's like the perfect mix and it's just awesome. Then we have most beloved person of color comic book creator or um, series with a person of color in it. Um, I'm choosing a series with a person of color in it. I'm choosing X-Men. My favorite was Storm. I thought Storm was so cool and her powers were just incredible. Like if you could control the weather, you could do so many cool things. And Storm does do so many cool things. Also, she gets with Black Panther, which is another great character. So like, that's pretty cool. Those two, that's definitely like a power couple right there. That's like, that's like Jay-Z and Beyonce, but like X-Men comic book version. <laughs> So yeah, I like I just I think Storm has a lot of potential with her powers and she's also a great team leader. She subs in when Cyclops is not there and she knows what she's doing. She's a badass. And the last question is which comic book world would you most like to live in? Well, a lot of the comic books I read take place on Earth. So I would just say Earth because like I think it would be cool to live on Earth with all these superheroes around us helping us out. Like, I'd totally be friends with Spider-Man if I could. I don't really want to go to like Planet Hulk or anything like that because <laughs> I feel like that would be very scary. <laughs> and well, yeah, come to think of it, I don't know if I would ever want to meet the Hulk because he's just a terrifying being in, in general. Not Bruce Banner, but like if you ever hulked out on you, like you crap your pants. So yeah, I don't think I would want that. But yeah, I would just say Earth. A lot of comic books actually take place in New York City too. Like probably over 50% of them are in New York City. So I don't know if I'd want to be in New York City though. That's the thing. Cause like, I don't really like big, big cities. Like they're fun to visit, but I don't know if I could live there. I like open space. <laughs> anyway, that's besides the point. The last thing I need to do is take some other booktubers to do this tag. Now I'm going to tag some booktubers, but don't feel like you have to do it. No pressure, none at all. This is just if you want to. So I'm gonna choose Nerdy Nat Reads because I have seen your Batman bookshelf in the background and I think you like superheroes and comic books and graphic novels. So I think this tag is for you. I'm also going to choose the Petite Punk because she's a booktuber that I recently started watching and I, I just think she's cool. So I think she might enjoy this tag. And I'm also going to tag Connor O'Brien because I've seen him do lots of comic books in his um, book wrap ups. And I think that he likes comic books. I'm pretty sure we've talked about some comic book characters before together. So yeah, like I said, guys, you don't have to do this. It's only if you want to. And that's it for the comic love book tag. Once again, thank you Lazy Owl for tagging me in this. I had so much fun doing this tag and I got to nerd out about all these great graphic novels and comic books. It was awesome. If you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a Ko-fi page, which I will put down in the description below. 
You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos every Monday and Thursday. And until next time, keep on reading.